it is with a deep sense of pride that I stand before you today on this very important occasion of unveiling and celebrating the renaming of King George VI Barat after the late Uganda Chief of Defense COD, General Josiah Magamatogoka. This event is the first of a series of similar events that will see me presiding over three other unveiling ceremonies for the National Defense University that has been named after the late General Rogers Alfred Nikita Mangena and the headquarters three infantry brigade in Tari that has been renamed after the late Herbert Kitepo in the Flight Air Force Base that has been renamed after Jason Ziapapa Mori. The successful renaming of these and many other military containments follows a long and odious bureaucratic process by the Zimbabwe Defense Forces and the Minister of Defense in their efforts to redress the colonial nomenclature of key military institutions. The process has thus culminated in the renaming of a number of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces barracks after our own renowned first and the second Chimurega military leaders. This process has without doubt set in motion our long-standing desire to rewrite our own history and in the process promoting our values as Zimbabweans. By so doing, we rid ourselves of the colonial mentality which regards all that is associated with Europe and the West with the high esteem while placing a low opinion on our own value systems as Africans. The former KG6 barracks, which housed both the Zimbabwe National Army and the Air Force of Zimbabwe headquarters, were named after Albert Fredericks Arthur George, who was king of an island called the United Kingdom in the dominions of the Commonwealth. From 11th December 1936 until his death in 1952. It is believed that upon his death in 1952, the Rhodesian Army headquarters was named after him by virtue of him being the king and commander in chief during the establishment of the Rhodesian Army. The ghost of colonialism has thus been exercised by the renaming of these institutions after our own illustrious sons and liberation icons. General Josiah Magamate Mogara was born on 4th February 1940 in Nema Trust, a tribe of trust lands near Saluke, now Shurubi. General Togogara's parents had migrated from Benda and settled in Nema tribal trust lands, where Magama married Sukai and Kapu was blessed with eight children, five boys, Michael, Josiah, Shadrach, Wilbert, and Joshua, and three girls. Uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about scow. Hey, me Rosalind and Edna. Josiah attended Rocksford Mission, about 15 kilometers away from their homestead, up to 76. Since the Kamogara family was of little means, 
They could not afford to advance their children's education despite them being academically gifted. Young Josiah was exceptionally gifted and excelled in academic work as well as in music and football. He became politically conscious at a tender age after witnessing the oppression that his parents were being subjected to by the whites at Glenoro Farm where they worked. This childhood exposure and experience to white racist and repressive domination under which he very, his, under which he very early life and unyielding hatred of colonialism for the rest of his life. 